Thank you for joining this quick troubleshooting screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. In this video, we're going to use the debug log to identify a problem with a process or flow. This is a common situation that can cause errors. Here, a user has received an error message that references a process when trying to create a contact without an account. We also receive a notification via email, which includes the process name, error ID, and technical information that might be useful for the resolution of the issue. We'll use a debug log to trace this error. Let's go to Setup, Debug Logs, and click New. A debug log records the actions in a specific time frame within Salesforce. It shows you, line by line, what is happening in the code, things that cannot be seen in the user interface. So we'll create a debug log and then try to recreate the error we just saw when creating a contact. Then we can analyze the debug log to try to see what's going on. There are four different types of entities you can choose to trace. Automated process, user, Apex class, Apex trigger. We're telling the debug log what to focus on. We'll choose user, so it will record whatever the user is doing. Next, choose the name of the user we want to trace. This way, when we recreate the problem, it will be with the same permissions that the original user has, not our admin superpower permissions. Next, we'll select the time frame in which the recording should occur. If I'm going to work on it right now, I'll choose the next few hours. If I'm debugging an automated process that takes place sometime in the next 48 hours, I'll enter a 48-hour time frame. In the Debug Level field, we can either enter an existing one or create a new one. Basically, a debug level is a set of information that we want the debug log to capture. With this, we can exclude information that we deem superficial. Now that we've set up the debug log, we'll recreate the steps that cause the error. Now, Let's have a look at the issue by opening the debug log that generated soon after we recreated the error and pressed Save. Here, we can confirm this is a process error. We know that because of this code. For a list of the most common codes, we've put some links to helpful documentation in the short description of this video. Now we can go to our processes and check it out. This process is called Notify for New Acme Inc. Contact. When troubleshooting a process, it's best practice to clone the current version and deactivate it. We need to deactivate it because you cannot edit an active process. Now we can fix the error. Once we make the changes, we'll save and then activate this new version. The original version will automatically be deactivated. Now here in our clone, let's open it to check the settings. Check the process's criteria by clicking on it. Then have a look at the value referenced in the condition section on the right panel. Then check the action defined in the process and make sure the record type and field referenced are not causing the issue. For example, if a field is not active. Also, decide if the action has to be scheduled or immediate. Once we've fixed the issue, we can activate this version. And try to create a contact again. And it works without error. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.